Hola, hola. Happy Sunday and welcome to today's special message. So as I do every day, I take out the card of the day. And today I pulled out the card of the day and the card that we got was um, a guardian angel, your guardian angel special message. And I was just so moved by the message that I received from my personal angels that I wanted to support you in how you can receive your special message today from your guardian angel. I realize not all of us have the tools. Um, so I'm super excited to be sharing that the message for today is for you to connect with your guardian angel. So there's going to be a few things that you're going to need. You may have some, you may have all. Um, so this is what you're going to need today. Okay, so you're going to need your candle. <clears throat> okay, so you want a, speci a, a specific candle that you're going to use just for your guardian angels. <coughs> Excuse me. So you want to have that. So this is, this is my specific um, candle. You're going to want some sage. Okay, so I have sage here and I'm going to be burning that. And an incense. Now, you may have an incense, you may not have sage, you may not have an incense, you may have a candle. Okay, you can play around with it. So I'm just giving you some options. Okay, what you want to do first is first get yourself centered. Okay, so how do we get ourselves centered is by allowing ourselves to connect to our heart space, okay, and relaxing the mind. And a great way to get to our heart space, or at least just to relax our mind, is through our breath, right? And when we breathe out, like letting it all out. So one of the things that I did this morning was I would continue to do breath, and um, but I was still having thoughts. So then I just, it's like breathing my thoughts out. <sighs> breathing the thoughts out. <sighs> and I kept doing that until I felt the calmness set in. Okay. And I also saged myself this morning. So we're going to do that today together. So we're going to start by saging. Okay. Now, if you don't have sage, you can get sage at my website at miracleswithinus.net. And if you click on the services link, you'll be able to click on that page. There's a products as well that you can see. And I sell sage and, um, at a reasonable price so that it's not too, too expensive for everyone. Okay, um, that's not my money maker. I just have it there because I know it's a, it's a lot of money in some places. I, I feel it could be overpriced. <laughs> so I just provide that as a way for you to get it. So we're going to turn it on. So I have my lighter here. So we, our intention as we light this candle is to clear our space and to clear ourselves. Okay, so let's get that rolling. Okay, so now just letting it turn on as you see here. If you don't currently have sage with you, just have the intention that this is yours sage right now and that what I do here is what you do for yourself okay great so here we go so first you want to clear yourself so the, I you know when I'm saying clean myself I'm meaning clear your aura clear your your energy so I always start with the top of the head and I go like this for a few times then I go down and clear under you want to get everywhere right you see under my arm going down through down my chest and my face and as I'm doing this you're doing this as well and if you don't have a sage just use your hand and do this symbolically to bring in the clearing and like that the angels and the energies know that you're giving permission to now receive this clearing as well and you do the same as you go down, right? And you go under your feet as well. I'm not going to do that right now, but actually I'll do it because I want you to do it. So just go down. I'll bring this down. How do I do that? So you can see. Okay, so here, 
right? You want to make sure you get the solar plexus area. <laughs> you see me in my pajamas, <laughs> right? And then you go down, down, under your foot, under your foot. That's my slippy. Then you do the other side as well, under, and then you go from behind. Let's see, can you see that? Then you're going to just go from behind, okay? And then all the way back up, okay? And through the back. Right, and then over your head, and my sage just turned off, so I'm going to turn it back on. That That's common. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> you know, it doesn't mean anything unless you make it mean something. Okay, and my intention is that it doesn't mean anything. It just turned off. So I'm just turning it back on again. Right? And now I'm just going to finish the back. Clearing, clearing. And use your hands if you don't have the sage as a symbol that you want this as a part of your energy as well. So I'm just now going to put this away. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to light a candle. And in this candle, while I'm lighting this candle, and while you're lighting this candle, you want to make it really clear that as you turn on this candle, you are welcoming your guardian angel to come forward at this moment in time. They have full permission, full access to giving you the message that is needed to be given to you today. Okay? Very, very important. Okay? You just, if you just light it, it's just a candle that is lit. That is lit. But you want a specific candle that you're going to use and you're going to light it. So right now, I'm going to say... You could repeat or use your own words. My guardian angel, I call upon you now to step forward. And as I light this candle and as this candle is on, I allow you to be in my space, in my energy, to provide me with the message today. May you be by my side and help me guide and help me and guide me through. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I need like a better lighter. And so it is, right? And thank you. And as the candle lights up, this is your angel accepting your request. See, it's lit. It's nice. Um, there may be, so if there is no draft, okay, if your windows are open, your fan is on, there's different symbols that your angels could be communicating just by lighting the candle, okay? So I'm going to share that with you right now. So if you light the candle as I did and it lit and you see it's, it's just completely on, there's not nothing really happening to it, that means the angel was able to communicate and get connect with you very easily. Okay, if it, there's no draft and, and we're not talking about like having lighter, that's just a lighter, but I'm talking about the lighting of the candle itself. If it flickers, Right when you turn it on and it took a while, I blew on it, <laughs> it took a while and it to light up, then it could be that you need to give more permission, okay? Meaning that there's something in your energy that might be resisting your connection with your angel, okay? That's it, okay? So if you see that there's resistance, you keep affirming, ah, oh, angels, I give you full permission and I release my resistance now. I'm releasing my resistance because sometimes we want to connect with our angels and we want to connect with our spirit guides, but we have fear. And if there's fear presented, they don't come through because they don't want to harm us. They don't want to make us feel scared. Okay. So I'm going to put this down. So if you don't have the sage and you don't have a candle and you have an incense, you can do that. So I'm going to light the incense and it's going to be the same thing, right? You're going to pick an incense that you enjoy, that you like, um, preferably non-toxic to the environment, um, to yourself and to your plants. So you, you might want to do some research on that uh, around like using things that are non-toxic for your breathing, right? Because breath is going to be very important when connecting with your angel. 
Okay. So you would do the same thing and you will recite something that makes you feel powerful and strong and giving permission to your guardian angel. So you can say something along the lines, I now give permission for you angels to, or my guardian angel, to step forward at this time. I thank you for being here with me, to providing me with the message that is needed to be shared with me today. And you do, and you light it. Right, and you let it burn a little bit so that it takes it, and then softly blow. Beautiful, and there's your incense. And now your angel knows that you have, they have permission to connect with you. So now I'm just gonna put it in my little tray here. So this is my tray, and I burn a lot of incense, like all the time. So here. I have my little box. You don't have to have a box, <laughs> you know, so there you go, right? You don't have to have that. There's many different types of incense holders and stuff like that. And it's just what you need for yourself, right? Like you don't need anything too fancy. It's just whatever you need. So today's message was the guardian angel, special, special message. So now your angel is with you. My angel is with me. Um, most of us have a whole bunch of angels. It's not just one specific guardian angel that we have. Um, some believe that they have three, some believe they have one. Whatever you believe is true. Um, so our belief is what's true. I believe that we have many angels and as we go through life, we gain different ones um, to help us with different missions and to move forward and they just become our part of our tribe of, of angels. And anyone who works with me is pretty much my guardian angel because I'm trusting them to guide me. That is what your guardian angel is doing. It's guiding you, reminding you of your purpose that you set yourself on before us descending here on earth. Okay, so that's one of the biggest things that our angels do. They, they help uh, remind us of what it is that we're setting our purpose on, our mission on here on this earth at this time. So now we're going to focus into breath because now our angel is here. So you want to get comfortable. If you're standing, you want to stand in a posture where your spine is straight and like you just feel comfortable. If your body is in pain, first you want to kind of get comfortable as much as possible because then it's going to distract you. Okay, that pain is going to distract you and it's not going to really allow you to connect with your angel. Okay, or you won't feel the connection. Your angel's connected with you, but you won't be able to feel it. So first we're just going to draw in some breaths in and out, in and out, in and out, and continue to breathe in and out. And when you breathe in, you want to draw in the energy into your belly. You want to fill your belly, it's going to extend outwards. And when you breathe out, you're bringing your belly inward, bringing your belly button towards your spine, pushing all the breath out, okay? So breathe in, out, right? And really like allow your mouth to release it. So breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, wonderful. Now we are going to feel our guardian angel. This is good, this is so cool. We're gonna feel our guardian angel and we're gonna do this through our breath, okay? So we're gonna, this is how it's gonna go. We're gonna breathe in, okay? And I'm, you're gonna hold your breath for three seconds and I'm gonna go one, two, three. You're gonna see me do the countdown. And then you're going to release your breath slowly through your mouth. And what you're going to do is you're going to pay attention to what's happening in your solar plexus, in your stomach area. And you'll start feeling the presence of your angel. It could feel, a lot of times it's like a calmness or a butterfly kind of feeling. 
that is what you're going to feel okay so we're going to do this a few times so that you can get used to it and then calling in your angel okay so breathe in out in out now you start already feeling it. So you're going to feel it in your stomach. So breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out. <laughs> it just makes me laugh because it tickles me. My angels tickle me. So, um... <laughs> I'm feeling tickles. So you may feel different type of feelings. You may feel tickles. You may feel just calmness. You may feel butterflies in, the, in your stomach. So that is you connecting, feeling the presence of your angel. Okay. So that is feeling your energy, your angel. Now, how are you going to receive the message from your guardian angel? So this is going to connect with how you connect intuitively meaning what type of intuitive you really are okay and what that looks like is if you are a person who's a writer or likes to write or really gets your best ideas when you're writing things down you're going to do automatic writing with your guardian angel okay so you have all of the materials you have your candle burning like I have here and the sage and everything okay the sage you don't have to keep burning by the way you could just let that turn off okay but you want your candle on and you want your incense on okay and that's just letting them know that they could still be with you and when you turn it off then that means that okay you received enough information thank you very much bye bye <laughs> that's simple right no hard feelings right they don't they don't take things personal Okay, so if you're a writer or creative person in that form, you want to do that. If you are, if you are into arts as far, as far as drawing and stuff, start drawing. Ask your angels to, to guide your hand in drawing. So draw something first that's familiar to you. And then allow yourself to get out of your heart, of your head and into your heart space. Remember, when you're having a lot of thoughts, if you're in your head, you're not, it's going to be really difficult for you. So if you're having a lot of thoughts, you're going to breathe in and you're going to out the thoughts. You're going to breathe in and you're going to blow out the thoughts, okay? So that is going to be really, really powerful for you. Just being able to do that is really powerful. So if you are a person that draws, you want to do that. If you are a person of movement, okay, so I am a clear sentient and a clear cognitant um, intuitive, right? So there's clear sentient, clear audience, clear voyant, clear cognitant, right? Those are the four common intuitive types, okay? And if you don't know your type, well, in a few weeks, I'm going to be doing this um, cool way that you can figure out your intuitive type for free so totally cool okay um, so stay tuned for that and if you're really interested in knowing your intuitive type let me know in the comments because that is going to really give me the energy and the momentum to really get that completed so I want to make sure that I'm giving you what you want okay so great so if you learn if you are great with movement then you're going to have a knowingness which means that you're gonna have to really start moving your body okay so one of the things for me is to move my body okay so breath is a part of moving my body I'm moving my energy body I'm moving energy in and out of my body through my breath okay um, putting on a song that makes you feel good okay and you just kind of get into it now you want to be conscious about this song is something that is moving inspiring and motivating okay not that it's instilling any thought patterns into your head so it's good to listen to a song uh, music that is more on an instrumental level versus words um, 
a mantra song is pretty good too if it's something that gets you moving okay um, so that's a that's another way so you have to connect with your specific way Ooh, I love the hearts keep them coming um, um, can you tell me what intuitive type um, so this is from Monica can you tell me my intuitive type um, so Monica I'm going to be having a uh, a session in a few weeks where you're going to be able to discover what type of intuitive you are so I don't have that out right now but I'll be having that out in a few weeks so stay tuned but thank you for leaving that because that gives me energy and momentum to be able to move forward in giving you that information so yay thank you for that so let's really get into so if you want to get some like okay I'm not too sure then you want to see what makes you feel good you know if you're like I said if you're a writer you want to write so you want to take out a journal so I have a journal here even though I am a learner okay uh, based on or like my intuitive type isn't you know a clear I'm not a clear audient or clear visual right um, so but it still works for me to write so a lot of the times I would write dear heart or dear angel or something along those lines and um, and then I just write what first comes to me and then next thing you know I'm writing things I don't even know okay and that's because you're tapping into the all-knowing source and your angels are talking to you in that form so don't question what comes through now if you're a clear sentence you're gonna be a feeler okay so it means you're gonna have like this feeling of movement in and, and I'm not talking about physical movement you're gonna feel like an energy surge from your stomach up 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 to your heart center and then you're gonna kind of like just know right you're just gonna kind of know oh I'm gonna do this or like today like if your message from your angel is today go outside and get br fresh air let's say that's your your message for today right from your your personal guardian angel because there's something that you're gonna get when you go outside and get that fresh air you're gonna have a knowingness a wantingness to do that okay if it's if your message is heavy up it's time for you to start moving forward no longer excuses no longer procrastination because this is a big one for a lot of us and we miss it <laughs> so they're like say this one say this one Melissa they're already talking to me really hard so it's kind of funny um, so when when we're in a place where we're feeling stuck right or like I want to work on this project right or I want to start my business I don't know how to start it or um, something along those lines right I, I want to start writing my book I want to I want to take a new class I, I I want to start dating again right and you get this knowingness like this is what you want to do but then right after right after you convince yourself you don't need it that is how you know your spirit and your angels are talking to you and then your ego came in and pushed it out okay when you're having contradictory feelings and and um, thoughts it's because you are asking angels give me a message right guardian angel what is my message for today and the message is go start you know start your online business just turn on the computer or whatever it is right let's say you you want to do that right or you want to write a book just just start writing and then right after it's like start writing you're like oh but that takes so much time and I want it I want to make sure I have a new computer first oh I'm sorry I don't have the money and then we talk ourselves that's the ego that comes in and tries to keep you in the same place because writing a book is something new to your mind so that is also another way that you know that your spirit and your angels are talking to you and you don't kind of move into that energy okay so it's gonna be very unique there's not a specific specific way to do it okay what I know is that with the many people that I've worked with every single person has been different no person is the same when it comes to how they really receive Like you could 
do some guidelines as far as like what I just shared. The, one of the easiest ways is writing. Um, and you know, you can write your questions down, right? And just keep writing all your questions and then you may start feeling some of the answers coming in the writing right away. And in other ways, it could be that it comes up in a, in a way that is more subtle where it's like, you, let's say you ask, what should I do today? And then 10 minutes later, you get a phone call from a friend and it's like, let's go to the park. I heard of this great thing. Or like, let's go here. Let's go there. You're answered. You're, you just got your answer. And sometimes we don't realize that that happens, but we ask and it is always given. And that's something that the angels and spirit always share with me is that we ask and it is always given. And what stops us is our resistance to receiving it. It's not that it's not there, it's that we have resistance. So it's important for us to relieve ourselves of that resistance through just bringing ourselves to, I don't have to figure out the how. So I want to, I'll share something with you really cool. Um, I was listening to, I believe, Abraham Hicks. Maybe a lot of you know of that. And I like to listen to it because it's very inspirational and it coincides with the messages that I receive from my angels. So I love it. And I was listening to the book, The Process, because I have the audio book and I was listening to it and there was a part where they were talking about our resistance and um, manifesting and it's like you know we all have ideas and things are given it we ask and it is given right we ask and it is given and the thing that stops us is the resistance right and how do we get over that resistance well it's quite simple actually it's by not putting the resistance in in the first place so let's say you have a goal your goal is to um, maybe make more money right your goal is maybe to make two thousand dollars more a month right like two thousand dollars more a month will make things a lot easier for you you can go on a vacation you can pay off some card uh you know credit card debt or whatever debt you have and or whatever right you can get that that car you can get your car fixed whatever you want right you want to make two thousand dollars more a month right so that is your desire right that's your desire so when connecting with your angels and bringing in this um, energy from this is, is that what they say is that the resistance is that we try to figure out the how and we don't know the solution so then we kind of put a block. So be like, okay, I want to make $2,000 more this month for whatever reason or continuously. I want to make $2,000 more. That's it. That's all you have to bring in and see yourself. What would you do with your $2,000? Well, how, how would you spend it? How would you save it? Would you, what would you do with it, right? That is our way of creating. Now, if we start going, well, I don't know how, then we're not going to get it. So I remember I was like, okay, I want to make, you know, $5,000. And, uh, and then I felt all the resistance. I had no idea how I'm going to get this done, blah, 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 right? So then... What I did was this exercise, which was I brought in the manifestation into my mind, into my heart, and I saw myself what I would do with this money. And then once I finished with that, I did no more. I'm not trying to figure out how it's going to happen, how I'm going to get it. So then the ne very next day, so that was, you know, one day, the very next day I woke up in the morning and I had my meditation. And right after my meditation, I heard it very loud and clear on how and what I would need to do, right? Like what I need to do now to bring myself to have what I asked for earlier that, that day, the other day, right? The day before. And that is how our, like that is how it was answered because I, at that moment I didn't have any resistance. I was just saying, this is what I want. I know I can have it because I deserve it and I'm leaving, I trust and have full faith in the universe. So then when you have no resistance and you're incomplete in the vibration, it comes to you as to how you can manifest it and then you just have to go and do it, 
right? Then you just go and, and do whatever that is. A lot of times we hear it, we feel it, we get excited, and then we don't do it, right? And how do we get over the not doing it? Um, one of the ways is, you know, creating accountability, right? Maybe having someone that you can connect with. This is why coaches are great, right? Because like I would connect with people like we keep each other accountable. This is what I want to do and this is how, you know, I was led to do it. Can you keep me accountable? Okay, so it's important to do that and keeping yourself accountable. Like if you see behind me, Ta-da! This is like my whiteboard and I just write random stuff on it all the time of things that I want. Okay, I'm going to be creating an event in, in New York City soon. So I wrote it down. Like, I, I think it's reversed on your end. I'm not sure, but it basically says plan next event. So I'm planning two events. One is my angel workshop and my chakra workshop. Right? So I, I put it here so that I'm reminded this is my accountability this is my friend right this board here is my friend and then over here I have an affirmation that I like to say and I'll share it with you so this is this is my affirmation here who I am is the possibility of empowerment sisterhood unconditional love peace freedom ultimate possibility and that is who I am right so this helps remind me of what I stand for in life right I am sisterhood I so what that looks like is that I will do things that empower all of my sisters right and and that is that goes for everything you know um, being responsible of our role so I'm gonna share this and I know this is a little off topic but I'm going to share it anyways for my sisters out there. Um, what's important with sisterhood is that we are not deliberately doing things to hurt one another. Like there's going to be things that will happen and that just happens. Okay. But like if you know, let's say you're dating someone and the guy tells you he has a girlfriend but she doesn't give him what he wants and that's why he's seeking outside and he's dating you what do you do in that circumstance now because I believe in sisterhood right and I in, I stand in the power of keeping my sisters up and upbeat my thing would be well then you can't date me right because I will never I me will not do something that will deliberately hurt my sister and I know that if she found out because this is behind her back that this will be a problem now there's another scenario what if they're in an open relationship well then that's another thing right because she's in agreement so you want to stand clear about what you do and what you stand for and that's just one thing you know in you know particular you know like um Another thing is unconditional love, right? Which means that your love is not conditioned based on receiving or giving something. And in that is whether or not people watch my videos, whether or not people share, I unconditionally love doing this and I continue to do it no matter who is available. Now, my, I, would, I want people to see this and I want us to share. And because it comes from unconditional love, it gets shared. And people feel moved and inspired. Okay? So know that. Like, what is it that you stand for? Right? And if you're not sure, connect with your guardian angel about what you stand for. Okay? What is it that you stand for? Right. So today is a day to give yourself the opportunity, the time, the space for you to be able to connect with your angel, 
and to listen to what your angel is communicating with you because this card came up today because it is an important message that you need to hear and they've been trying to get your attention and you haven't been able to really receive the answer that they're asking so I truly enjoyed being here with you thank you for allowing me to be in your space and please like subscribe and share this video it will help and inspire yourself and everyone else thank you so much and if you would like to learn how you can join me on my monthly calls you can click on the link I'll have below or in the caption area of the Miracles membership program. It's an amazing program and I will love to have you there and it's only $27. So I hope to see you there and we do a lot of great things on there all the time. Um, so I'll see you on the next one. I'll be doing a video later on today or early tomorrow morning on the weekly forecast for the Healer's Manual. So looking forward to seeing you then and I love you unconditionally. Namaste.